Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and I'm really, really, really excited for this video because I was nominated to do it, and that makes me even more pumped about it. But Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans nominated me for the These Are the Only Five Bourbons You Need, according to Reddit. So I'm excited to share mine because, well, obviously these are some of my favorite bourbons of all time. So let's get this thing started. I'm gonna start off with my daily drinker, and if you know me or if you've watched this channel at all, you know that this is probably a pretty easy one to guess. And that is, da da da, wait for it. Wild Turkey 101, Wild Turkey 101. Okay, this is literally one of my favorite bottles of all time. I mean, a great price point. You get it for like 20 to $25. It tastes good. You get some of that spiciness some sweet, vanilla, toffee. I just really, really, really love Wild Turkey 101. If I, no matter what mood I'm in, I can just go to the shelf, I can pick up this bottle, pour it, drink it, and it's just, it's good, no matter what. It's always good. So, a good daily drinker. I love Wild Turkey 101. I love, actually, I love every bottle I have from Wild Turkey, so, I don't know, I haven't found one I don't like yet, so. There's the first one. All right, next up is a bottle to impress my guests or my friends, or the people that come to my house, which are guests. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I just had a real blonde moment there for a second. <laughs> I'm an idiot sometimes. <laughs> okay, now back to it. The bottle to impress my guests. And that bottle is... Dun, 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 Blanton's. All right, I'm waiting for all the haters to like roll into the comments and be like, Blanton's, really? But. I'm picking Blanton's because this bottle looks so cool, right? This is one of the coolest bottles out there. It's a great conversation piece. It's just a good classic bourbon with, I mean, it's a lower proof. And honestly, it's just a great, it's a cool looking bottle with a horse top. Like people are gonna look at this and be like, that's cool looking. As, even if they don't drink bourbon, might not know what it is. Maybe they don't wanna drink it, but we can still talk about the bottle and make them feel like they're a part of my whiskey journey. So that's why I like it, and that's why I choose this as the bottle to impress my guests. All right, so the next bottle is a bourbon that you use to make a cocktail with. And for me, I typically don't make cocktails at home. I usually like to go to speakeasy or a bar or something like that to have a cocktail made. I, if I'm gonna make one at home, I would probably use a rye over a bourbon because I prefer to drink my bourbons at home neat, but I like making them with like a Wild Turkey 101 rye. But we're not talking about rice, we are talking about bourbons, and the bottle I would use, and I would recommend to use, is OGD 114. I love OGD 114. It's delicious, it's spicy, it's, it's just, and it's got enough proof in it that you could actually, it's not gonna cut down the, the cocktail. Like you'll still be able to actually taste the bourbon in your cocktail. And yeah, it's about $30, so not a bad price point, but it just really is tasty, whether or not it's in a cocktail or not. But this is my cocktail maker, mixer, drinker, whiskey, bourbon. It's good. I love OG one, OGD 114. So that's that one. And now we got my favorite Friday night pour, which, Honestly, you cannot go wrong with this pour. This is any Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is my favorite. I love Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs. They're delicious. Um, no matter what kind of day or week I've had a Friday night pour, I like to sit down with some Elijah Craig. This one is the A122 I reviewed recently. And in the review, I didn't love it as much. But as you can see, well, we've drank a lot of it now. And now that it's gotten further down in the bottle, it opened up and it tastes so freaking delicious. Like it's really, really good. In fact, it's so good, Bill and I went and bought another bottle because we liked it. So Elijah Craig, Barrel Proofs, always good for a Friday night, whether it's wintertime, summertime, warm up with a nice pour of this and it's delicious, so delicious. I love it. And now, okay, so let me put this down because we need to talk about this last bottle. So the last bottle that I have is a bottle that is going to be, um, I'm just having a brain fart here for a second, is a bottle that is poured for a special occasion. Okay, so I don't really have any bottles for special occasions because, well, as you can tell, we open every single bottle we get. Bill and I like to open them, we like to taste them. We don't have any like B-Tacs or any super highly allocated bottles that 
you know, would be only special occasion pours. Um, I mean, if I had a bottle that's a little more expensive, like as a whiskey, maybe like the Bardstown Triple Blended Stave finish because it's expensive um, and I don't want to drink it as fast because we only have one bottle of it. Or maybe like an Octomore because those are a little more expensive too. I don't, I'm not going to sit there and drink those every day, but they're delicious and I love them. So the last one I'm going to bring out, I had to pick one, right? I, I'm only bringing this one out because I had to pick one. And while I might not pour it for a special occasion, but I'm not gonna drink this every single day. I love Stag Junior, like in, in love with Stag Junior. This batch 13 is my favorite batch that I have and I just, I really enjoy it. So this is the only bottle of batch 13 that I have or that we have. So I don't wanna drink it down too fast because only one we got. So I guess I would say maybe this is my special occasion bottle, but if I had any of those BTAX or Pappies or anything like that, I would probably only pour those for special occasions too. So those are my five. I, I'll bring them all back up so you guys can see them just in case you forgot. Okay, Stag Jr., Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, OGD 114. I just like saying OGD 114, like old granddad. I just like the name of that one. Blanton's, Barrels, Barrels. Makes me think of that smoke wagon guy. He's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, and Wild Turkey 101. So these are my five bourbons that you have to have according to Reddit. And now it's time for me to nominate someone else. Let me move these out of my face so you can see me. I think you probably can see me, but my person that I'm gonna nominate is Jamie from Beyond the Row. They have the Whiskey Row channel, but Jamie has her channel, Beyond the Row, and I'm gonna go ahead and nominate her to name her five bourbons according to Reddit. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Can't wait to check her video out and go check out Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans video. Uh, he's got some great pours too. Actually, I don't think we have any, we have one bottle that's the same, I think. Yeah, only one bottle that's the same. So it's kind of fun to look back at some of the other videos that have been done over the years. A lot of people do the five whiskeys, but these are my five bourbons. So we'll see for 2022, my five bourbons. Um, I didn't do this last year because, well, didn't have a channel last year. So now I'm jumping on the bandwagon and I'm excited for the ride. Anyhow, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.